So when we started creating DC Universe Online, we knew we were going to have this mentor system. And they were going to be able to follow different heroes and different villains who were going to guide them as they're this new hero coming on the scene of the DC Comics. What I love about our game is that Batman and Oracle, they're, they're talking to me. They're not saying another character's name. They're saying, hey, you, you really helped us out today. That's why we want you to be a part of our team. Try to deliver on the Batman fantasy so you felt like you were Batman or living in that Batman world, you know? So you would go to Gotham, it's dark. There's all kinds of crime and things like that, and only you can save them. You're playing that whole detective role. Really, when you start out the game, you're not dealing with Batman himself except over a communicator. You're really dealing with the supporting characters. You're seeing Robin, you're seeing Harley Quinn. Right off the bat, you see Scarecrow as one of the uh, enemies that you're going to encounter. So we show you Scarecrow in there, and we show all the fear gas and his little minions and henchmen and stuff, and then you actually go and you rescue Batwoman so that you get to see another person with the Bat family along the way. Amusement Mile was actually pretty cool. So it's this big swath area, looks really iconic, cool looking stuff. You got clowns everywhere, you got cops everywhere. Players are battling each other, it's a really, really neat experience. And then you go into the fun house and it's totally Jokered out. You're totally what you expect to see if you went into a Joker's hideout. Robin went in ahead and uh, kind of got tied up and you have to rescue him from Harley Quinn. We actually do have a mission where players just can't get rid of a bomb and they're tasked to uh, pick up one of the Joker's bombs and find a place to get rid of it and we, they end up throwing it into the river as an homage to Batman 66. It's not till like halfway through the game where you actually finally come face to face with Batman as a player. And it's very cool because you get to experience this fight from the hero side and the villain side. You fight alongside Batman at the Regal Hotel against Joker himself. He's got bombs rigged up to gas the whole place. They're having a Gotham City Police Department ball there. It's a really pretty epic, chaotic fight that's a lot of fun. And you actually get to help Batman out for the first time. So it's not just Batman, it's the Joker as well. And this is the first time that players are actually gonna get to interact with the Batman. And they're going to get to either fight alongside him or try and take him on. You know, and all this culminates in the Batcave. Brainiac has dug into the systems of the Batcave and he's using it against the world. At this point, the stakes have been raised from Gotham to the entire Earth. Because Batman is so paranoid and so driven to keep tabs on things and have this control over everything, and Brainiac uses that as an Achilles heel. And you're actually battling your way through it and you're learning things along the way that things have gotten out of control for Batman. And so you're fighting Omax, you're fighting Brainiac controlled bat drones and things like that. And at the very end there, you're actually fighting Brother Eye. He's got beams going everywhere and it's this whole coordinated effort to stay alive and take him out. It's a really, really tough fight. You have to get in there and root out all Brainiac subroutines and restore the Batcave, which allows you, of course, to be one of the few select people who are allowed inside the Batcave. One of my most memorable Batman uh, moments from the comics is, is actually when Bane comes on the scene and he stirs up all of the villains in Gotham City to try and break Batman down, make him tired, make him weary. And Oracle even comes on the line and says, hey, this is personal. He once broke Batman's back, and we're not going to let him do that to anybody again. So you get to face him down with Nightwing at your side. We have this interesting thing going on in Arkham Asylum in the game as well, where you know something is stirring up all of the villains that are in Arkham and sending them out into the city, and this is causing all this chaos. Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze, and Scarecrow. Each one of them has their own wing that they've taken over, and they're actually recruiting more members to set out an army and to take over the whole city. At the very end, Batman shows up and thanks you for your help, and, and you basically save the day, and it's a, it's a big, long, fun alert, one of my favorites. One way or another, the different nuances that I've picked up on the character and the various stories and the interactions have crept their way into the various episodes in DC Universe Online. When I look at it, um, I kind of know where those things came from and it, it puts a smile on my face uh, when I think back on you know, all the years and years and years I've been able to enjoy this character.